Hello everyone, this is Rick Grantham of Small Business Champion Bundle. This week we're going to walk through an inventory Excel template. Uh, this template will help you with do anything from figuring out when you need to reorder to how many SKUs you have. So that is coming up next. Hello everyone, this is Rick Grantham of Small Business Champion Bundle. Welcome back to the explanation portion of the tutorial for inventory lists for the small business. Now, in the inventory template that we're about to show you in about, in about a minute or so, th there's a number of things that you need to consider whenever you're figuring out what your inventory solution is going to be. First off, just a listing of your inventory items, quite honestly, just isn't good enough. Um, you need to be able to factor in things like uh, what your reorder strategy is going to be, um, being able to highlight things that have been discontinued. And so being able to bring all of that together into one template or, or into one solution. In addition to that, in the template that I'm about to show you, it also gives you the opportunity to see summary statistics about your inventory. Summary statistics such as your inventory value, the number of SKUs you have, what is the average unit price, what is the count or the number of discontinued items that you have, and the count of the SKUs and the things that you have in stock. So it also highlights for you the items that need to be reordered based on the strategies you put in place. So stay tuned for the next part of the tutorial where we'll bring up the template. We'll show you how to input your own business number, numbers so that you can use the inventory list immediately. That's coming up in the next part of the tutorial. Hello everyone, this is Rick Grantham. Welcome back to the template portion of the tutorial. Uh, whenever you first bring up the template, the first thing you'll be met with is this title screen. And on the title screen, there are plenty of opportunities over here on the left-hand side to join the conversation. You know, you can download the free small business ebook. Heck, it's free. Why not? Uh, question and answer period. If you have any questions on or any concerns around anything that you see in the template. And of course, opportunities to join other professionals on LinkedIn and Facebook. These are uh, groups that are specifically designed for these templates. And so feel free to join on there. You also see on the right hand side some uh, other text here to join the conversation. Let's get past that and get directly to the templates. So to get to the template, the first thing you'll do is come down to the bottom. And on the bottom you'll see there's a tab here for inventory list. And as we click on inventory list, the inventory list or the inventory template is brought up for you. So regarding the template, over on the right hand side, over on the right hand side you'll see there are opportunities to join the conversation again so other links that are right here on the template you'll also see the instructions but I'm going to walk you through all of the instructions but just know that they're here on the right hand side in case you're you don't have access to this video or anything you're on an airplane somewhere or something of that nature the instructions are there for you so as you scroll to the left hand side you'll see the inventory list um, not only the SKUs your product names, and these are blank right now where you would put in your own product names, or you could just copy and paste them from whatever system that you have, or, or do an import and import those, or you can type those in. Uh, your product names, your descriptions, unit price, the number that you have in stock, and your values, etc. So there's a number of things here, including uh, your reorder time. You know, how long does it take? What is the delay that it takes from the time that you order something until you, would, until you get it back in stock? And also, what is the quantity that you have in reorder? And whether or not this item is discontinued. So you'll see in things like whether or not the item is discontinued, there are drop-down menus here where you can select if it's discontinued or not. And if we might say that this product, as an example, is discontinued, we could select on that. Up at the top, you'll see an analysis of your inventory value. So this is taking into consideration everything that's in the list. If you needed to add another product, you could just come down to the next area here and type in your next SKU. We'll say 1413, And what you'll see is that is now included in the table just by, select, just by putting it as the next item. Now you can, all the formatting and everything follows through. So here your yes drop down for discontinue would be there. You can put in all the statistics that you want to have. But which of these items here are things that you would uh, that you would interact with and which ones are outputs. To get into that, you'll scroll over to the right hand side. Here you'll see there's a highlight inputs area. And right now that's selected to no. What we're going to do is select yes. And in selecting yes, you see the ones that are light blue here are the ones where you input your own information, your own business information. The ones that are not highlighted blue are calculations. 
right, things that are updated. So what that means is, as a result of everything that you put in blue, it tells you whether or not you need to reorder, right? And the reorder formula here, the reorder calculation is based on the number that you have in stock. It's based on the number of reorder days and whether or not the item is discontinued and the quantity that you have whenever you do a reorder or what your reorder level is. So if your quantity that you have in stock is less than your reorder level and there's going to be a number of days before that gets to you and it's not discontinued, then that clicks off a reorder. But let's make that even easier for you. How can you highlight the individual items that you need to reorder so they're really brought to your attention? Up in the top hand area here, you'll see there's not only your summary statistics, but there's also over here on the right hand side, it says show reorder items. Now as we select show reorder items, you see those items that you need to reorder are highlighted red. So those are immediately brought to your attention, either as the small business owner or the analyst on which items you need to reorder because you're at risk of running out of stock. And to get rid of that, of the light blues, we can say highlight items, select that to know, and come back in here and see everything that you have is highlighted red. And you can say show reorder items and put that to know. Now all of these numbers up here, all of your summary statistics, your KPIs, your metrics that you can measure over time, these are automatically updated based on the information that's put in here. So as an example right now, the uh, inventory value is 25,945,000. And you'll see what if the number that we had in stock here was not 250,000, but instead it was 50,000 or 50. Let's see. 50,000. So as a result, the inventory value changed quite a bit. So also here, we'll say this one instead of 161,000. What if we found out that our inventory levels were actually at 900? You see the inventory now changed to 12 million. Not only that, your number in stock could change and all of that based on how you're tracking your inventory. So this is the inventory list, your ability to track not only your key metrics, but your reorder value, your, your, your reorder strategy, when things are discontinued, all of that is tracked here in this small business template for inventory list for the small business owner. So again, this is Rick Grantham. I would like to invite you to subscribe. We put out these templates on a regular basis. You can also go down to the description area at the bottom where you'll see uh, you'll see a, a number of links, not only to, to get these templates if you want it, but if you want to get a hold of me personally. LinkedIn information's down there, my Facebook page, all of that's down there. I'm not hiding from anyone, so feel free to, to connect with me down there. Or over on your right-hand side, which should be this way, you'll see there are other templates and other things that we've done uh, that are directly related to this inventory list. So feel free to click on one of those as well. Until next time, this is Rick Grantham.